There is an animal kingdom in a very dense forest where there are various kinds of animals that live in harmony and peace. The forest is called the Alenka Forest, where the animal community in the forest comprises monkeys, cats, dogs, horses, buffalo, deer, ants, bees, butterflies, elephants, tigers, snakes, chickens, birds and various other animals. They live happily and get to know each other. The harmony of life in the forest occurs thanks to the leadership and wisdom of the Lion King, who leads the animal community in the forest fairly. The lion became the ruler of the forest in place of his father who had died of old age. The Lenka forest is very fertile. All animals easily get various kinds of food here. At the end of the forest, there is a very wide and long river. None of the animals dared to cross or pass the river, because the current was very heavy, especially when it was late in the afternoon. There is an island across the river which is very dark. So the animals in the forest kingdom of Alenka are terrified. Since the Lion King's grandfather came to power decades ago, strict rules were made for all animals in the Alenka forest to obey. They are forbidden to cross to the island during the full moon. Because, many cunning and dangerous animals live on the other side of the island. Long ago, when the lion's grandfather was in power, there was an elephant who visited the island across the river. The elephant crossed the river on a full night. However, the next day, the elephant disappeared and never came back. Until now, not a single animal dared to cross to the island. The disappearance of the elephant has become a hereditary story in the Alenka forest. Incidentally, today was the time for the full moon. All the animals are getting ready to welcome the night. The mother bee prepares a lot of honey to be stored as food for her family for the next few days. Likewise, with other animals. They keep the food for safekeeping. If there is excess food, they give it to other animals in need. The sun set. The entire forest became still and desolate. Full moon shines brightly showing its shape at night. To maintain security at full moon, the Lion King and his bodyguards toured all corners of the Alenka forest which was illuminated by the rays of the full moon. The wind occasionally blows, which makes the Lion King and his guards cold. When the Lion King and his guards arrived at the river bank, they stood on the defensive. They tried to see and observe the situation around the river. They saw a crocodile on the surface of the river. The Lion King roared loudly to bully and chase the crocodile away. The crocodile went away because he was afraid to see the Lion King. They wandered through the forest all night. All safe and peaceful. The Lion King ordered his bodyguards to return to their respective homes. The sun is about to rise. We should go home and rest, said the Lion King to his guards. They finally separated and returned to their respective homes. Not long after that, dawn broke. The rooster crows to wake up the animals in the jungle of Alenka. The cat family wakes up and rushes out for morning exercise. 
Activities in the Alenka forest are back to normal. The fear of the animals is gone. They laughed again after a full night. However, that happiness suddenly changed. Mother Bee screamed hysterically from the top of the tree where she lived. All the animals were shocked to hear his screams. The cat family passed in front of Mother Bee's house. And one cat climbed the tree to see what happened to the Mother Bee. What's wrong, Mother Bee? Why are you screaming in fear? said the cat. All the honey that I saved since yesterday disappeared from this table. Someone stole it, said Mother Bee to the cat. The Mother Bee was crying hysterically because the honey was supposed to be her family's food for two days. Knowing this, the cat jumps from one tree trunk to another in search of the missing Mother Bee honey. Other animals such as horses, butterflies and monkeys help the cat find the honey. However, after several hours of searching, they did not find the honey. Mother Bee, we're sorry. We've searched everywhere, but we can't find the missing honey, said the cat. The Mother Bee became even more sad. To cheer up Mother Bee and her family, one of the monkey families gave her a banana. Apparently, the buffalo also lost its food from the kitchen. The news of this loss was finally known to the Lion King. The Lion King ordered all the animals in the Alinka forest to gather in front of his palace. He ordered the cat family to find out the whereabouts of the thief. While searching, one cat saw footprints resembling the feet of a weasel. The cats followed the direction of the trail until they ended up in a hole. It is true. In the hole, a weasel entered, with its feet tied with ropes. He was hit by a trap set the day before. The weasel was holding a bottle of honey that was thought to belong to the mother bee. They also brought the weasel before the Lion King for trial. Hey weasel, why did you steal this honey? said the Lion King. I plead guilty, King, said weasel with tears in his eyes and full of remorse. But I beg for forgiveness. I have to take honey to feed my children, said the weasel again. The weasel said he took food with six other ferrets. That night, they walked so slowly that no one noticed. However, on the way home, he was caught in a trap and fell into a hole. While his friends left. The Lion King also asked where the weasel came from, because in the Alenka forest there was not a single citizen named the weasel as his people. Weasel replied, he came from the island across the river. They crossed because they were assisted by crocodiles swimming in parallel. Hearing that confession, all the animals became angry. One animal shouted for the weasel to be castigated. The Lion King asked everyone to calm down. He continued his conversation with the weasel. Don't you know stealing is a forbidden act? and the punishment is very severe, said the Lion King. But the Lion King was in no hurry to judge the weasel. Why did you steal this honey? said the Lion King to the weasel. The weasel replied that he and his friends did not want to steal food at all. He apologized to the buffalo and mother bee for his actions. 
We had to steal because the other side of the island was parched because of deforestation, said Weasel. He invited the Lion King and other animals to visit the other side of the island to prove his point. However, the Lion King refused the invitation because the elephant had disappeared from the island. The weasel said the elephant had disappeared from the other side of the island because it was taken by hunters. The animals there tried to save the elephant, but to no avail. Deforestation has occurred for decades on the other side of the island. Animals that live on the other side of the island continue to struggle to get food from the trees. Hearing the story, the Lion King's heart was touched again. He ordered all the animals to go see the other side of the island. Incidentally, the river water receded so they could cross safely. What the weasel said was true. King Lion and the other beasts grew saddened to see the bodies of the animals there were so thin. Meanwhile, those in the forest Alenka can live prosperously without fear of lack of food. Out of pity, the Lion King forgave the weasel's actions. And in the end, the King of Lion lifted the ban on visiting the other side of the island. Animals from the other side of the island are also allowed to enter Alinka Forest to find the food they need. Since then, the relationship between the animals in the Alinka Forest and the other side of the island has been peaceful. King Lion erased the fear of his people and saved the lives of the animals that were once considered enemies of his kingdom. From the story above, there is a moral message as follows. 1. If we find someone's fault, don't immediately accuse or sentence that person to be guilty. Be wise to find out the root of the problem first, then take a wise attitude or decision. 2. Do not cut down forests carelessly which results in the loss of animal habitat in the forest. In addition, by cutting down forests carelessly, erosion will occur, which results in flooding everywhere and the environment becomes hot because there is no longer anything that can catch air pollution. Forests are the lungs of the world and we must protect them for the survival of the next generation.